So earlier in my life, there were actually three major things that I wanted to achieve. Again, this was in my early 20s. I was lost and confused about everything. My dream career, like what kind of girl I wanted to date, whether I was going to get married, how to travel the world, and how to do work I love. But there were really three primary goals that I was trying to go after. And the first one was that, honestly, after working so many shit jobs I hated for a lot of my 20s, the biggest thing was that I just wanted to do work I actually loved and actually cared about. The second thing I really wanted was I wanted to get fit. And by get fit, I mean I hated being skinny. I hated it, I hated it, I hated it so much. Because once you get that, hey string bean, every single Thanksgiving for 20 some odd years where every single person calls you skinny, it's like being a guy or a girl where every single time a person talks to you, your weight comes up. It gets extremely emotionally irritating and on a certain level, on a certain extent, it becomes your identity because that's how people identify you. They describe you as like the tall lanky dude, the green bean, whatever, or the fat person, the little chunky guy, the guy that wears whatever. And this becomes kind of your identity. So I hated that and I wanted to change. The third thing was that I really wanted a girlfriend and I wanted to travel the world with her because to me, travel was one of my absolute favorite hobbies and traveling with a girl seemed like it would be something awesome and pretty incredible. Now, the point here is that just like you, I had a million friggin' excuses. I had excuses all day long about why these things wouldn't work. Like take finding my passion, for example. I would say, you know, I wanted to find a job I loved that made me more than enough money to do all the things I wanted to do. Live a good life, get a cool apartment, travel every single year. And that's not making like 20,000 a year. You probably have to make I would say at least 40,000 a year to do all those things and live modestly outside of a big city. Now, all the BS excuses came up, right? All the barriers. Everyone was saying, you can't make a living doing what you love. Everyone was saying things like, you either get a job you hate or you get a job you love and you make no money, but you can make a lot of money doing a job that you hate if you just follow whatever the popular industries are. And all the while, in my head, I was hearing, you can't make a living doing what you want. You can't make a living doing what you want. People don't do this. You don't get to do this until you're 60 or 70. And this BS narrative started forming in my head. So obviously, I could have easily just been like, yeah, this is not going to work for me. This doesn't work. Like This is not in my cards to do work that I actually love and get paid to do it. And I'm just going to sit here, work another BS job for the next 25 years, hate my life, and be just like the average person, right? I mean, that was that was the narrative, that was the barrier. But just like we all have excuses, we all have the power of choice. You have the power to choose. Like, are you gonna let that excuse dictate the future, that barrier, which may be a legitimate barrier? Are you gonna let that dictate the future or are you gonna do something about it? So what I chose to do is I chose to ignore every single person. I chose to ignore all my family, all my friends, all the mentors that were saying, you can't, you can't, you can't. And look where I am now. I'm doing exactly what I want to do, making more than enough money to do all the things I've always wanted to do. So that BS story, that narrative, that barrier came up, that excuse. And I could have left it as an excuse, but I did something about it. I mean, look at me when it came time to gaining weight. I was, I am currently, like not now physically skinny, but I was the skinniest man I had ever met in my life. In my life. Like, look at the picture here of how skinny I was. That was me just eating normally. My mom is extremely skinny. She's like 115 pounds. She's weighed that almost her entire life because she's taking good care to exercise and eat right. But for me, that was just my genetics. I went through puberty when I was like 19 or 20. I was the shortest kid until I was in my 20s. My license at 16 or 17 says I'm five foot five. I'm like six foot two or three now. And all these things, I had digestive problems. I had asthma since birth. I was always kind of a sickly kid. And yet, I could have let any one of those things become the barrier, the excuse, the narrative for my failure. I could have been like, oh yeah, I just have skinny genetics. I'm never going to get big. I'm ne Because I'm my body is this way, I can never get the body I want. That could have been the story. That could have been basically my destiny, but I chose to actually change it. I could have told myself all day long, and I did many days, but I still decided to act. I could have all day long been like, you know what, my mom's skinny, so I'm just going to be skinny my whole life. Or I have digestive problems, that's just what's in the cards for me. I have, this is just me, I have asthma, I'm always going to be a weak and sickly kid. 
But none of those proved to be true because I got into weight training. I learned how to properly eat more. I started doing judo and then I was suddenly no longer the weak and sickly kid. I got into all these things to improve myself when any one of those could have been the wall that ended it all. So for you, think carefully about whatever BS excuse you're giving yourself and think carefully about is it just a story or is it something that, you know, is it a story that's going to stop you there or is it a legitimate roadblock? but something that you can climb over or plow through. And then finally, I could have said the exact same thing about finding a girl and traveling the world. I could have said the same thing. I made so little money in my 20s because I never once took a job for money. I made so little money that every year, I moved back in my parents till 26. I lived in China until I was 24, moved back home for two years because I made so little money, I couldn't even get an apartment. And most of those years in my 20s, before I was self-employed, I made less than $32,000, which is like professional minimal wage for someone with a, a undergraduate biology degree from a top school. That's like professional minimal wage, all right? And making minimum wage doesn't allow you to travel when you're busy trying to just pay your rent. And so what I had to do was, I could have told myself, okay, guess what? We're not gonna travel every year because I don't make enough money. That could have been the story, of course, just like all the other barriers, all the other stories, it could have just ended right there. But what did I do? I figured it out. I started freelancing on the side. When I had been a blogger for a couple of years, I learned that I could help people do a couple of online things. So I started charging a modest $20 an hour and I had a couple of clients. It was only a couple hundred bucks a month for a lot of extra work outside of work. But guess what? That couple hundred bucks a month was a couple thousand dollars at the end of each year. And every single year, my girlfriend, we've taken at least one international trip for about three weeks. That's something that most couples want to do that never do in their lifetime because they don't set up the habits or the lifestyle or they don't set up their minds to actually overcome whatever story they're telling themselves. We don't make enough. We pay too much in our rent, blah, blah, blah. If you want to figure out these things, then you have to figure out these things. And that's what I'm trying to say here today. Of course you have excuses. Of course I have excuses, but at the end of the day, you may be overweight and you don't want to be overweight. You may be skinny and you don't want to be skinny. You may be single, you don't want to be single. So you can have those excuses, but you've also got to have the action behind it. So have those excuses, but have the action behind it because that's ultimately, that is what results in the fulfillment that you're really searching for. It's the action that, okay, roadblocks come up, that's guaranteed. Barriers come up, guaranteed. Sometimes you have to completely stop going after a goal for a period of time, guaranteed. But what's gonna determine whether or not you actually get there is whether or not you pick your ass up and you keep going because everyone has a roadblock. Everyone has excuses. Everyone has their own freaking problems. You just gotta keep going and make it happen. Now, before you guys go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know for you, what has been the most self-sabotaging excuse you have told yourself for the reason why you have not gone after a fitness or a life dream. Leave that right there below. Hey guys, it's Alex. Did you like this video? If so, there are really two ways you can stay in touch with me. The first thing is to go over, click the monk and subscribe so you get the next video right when it's out. I'm releasing at least three videos per week, but often a lot more. The next thing is come on over and check out my book, Master the Day. It's called Master the Day, Eat, move, and live better with the power of daily habits. And it's all about the tiny daily success habits that I learned interviewing people that lost over 100 pounds and kept it off years later in a healthy way. The success habits that not only get your dream body, but also your dream life. And as a special thank you, if you get the book, send me your receipt to alexander at modernhealthmonk.com. I'll send you a one-hour bonus video course for free. And one important piece of it is an hour sit-down success story with my friend and my student, Mike, who lost... 30 pounds. So you can go check that out on Amazon right there. The next thing is come on over to my site, modernhealthmonk.com. I've got a free guide for you there, five daily habits to help you lose your next 20 to 30 pounds. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you soon.